But yeah, let's go see if we can find some jumps for this guy. I know I look like an idiot riding it, but it's freaking fun. Whoa, sh Look at that. This is literally right behind where I live right now. I was like 40 right there, 45 maybe. I bet I can get up to close to 50. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ted Meta, cruising out on my Pitster Pro 125cc. It's a knockoff of a Honda Classic or Trail Classic or Classic Trail. Whatever you call them. I got this bike about a month, month and a half ago, so I've had it for a little bit. I let my brother ride it, and he got a flat on the back of it, so it's been sitting in my garage. I just fixed it. But it's a really fun bike. It's kind of interesting because I was actually looking to buy one of these new this summer, and when I moved out to where I live now, there was a guy not very far away from where I'm at that was selling one for like a, a killer price. So I went and I picked it up. Um, it's just fun to ride, like being a big tall guy like I am, I, I know I look like an idiot riding it, but it's freaking fun. And I'm going to go out on a, a ride with my friends on Thursday, and I'm letting one of my buddies ride this, so I'm going to go give it a little bit of a test up at, in these uh, trails up here by my house. Now, a couple things about this bike, the suspension on it sucks really bad. I did adjust the shocks on the back and put them at like the stiffest setting that there is, so hopefully um, it feels a lot better because last time I rode this off-road, I would bottom out on every bump. In fact, I can tell right now that adjusting the shocks in the back had fixed it a lot or made it at least feel a little bit better because I would be bottoming, bottoming out already by now. And it's, uh, it's riding pretty well, so right on. Right on, Shimon. So I will get off of it here in just a second. And I will show you guys what this bike looks like. Like I said, it's a knockoff of a Honda Classic or Trail Classic. I think it's a Honda Classic Trail. I don't know. It's one one or the other. I don't know. If you guys know what it's called, I can go Google it when I get home so I know what I'm talking about. But if you know what it's called, feel free to mention what it is. I'm going to take a picture of it on my phone. Right on. So the Pitster Pro Classic, I think it's a 2017 from what the title says on it. And yeah man, you can get this street legal. All I have to do is go into the DMV and get a plate on it, get it insured. I'm not sure how much that would cost a month, I'm guessing under 10 a month. It's just a really small bike, smooth and fun to ride on. If you got a lot of dirt roads by your house or trails kind of like these, this is literally right behind where I live right now. They're fun to ride up on. I like having something small that I can bring camping along with my bike that I can let other people ride on. And not worry too much like if they're going to kill themselves on it. So let's take this for a cruise around. Let's see how much better these shocks um, feel from the last time I've been up here. I have it on video I think when I came up here. And it just wasn't fun riding it. Like, it's so much more fun right now with the shocks. A little bit more stiff. Now, I'm pretty big. I'm not, like, crazy big, but I'm 220. So, I think, like, the maximum capacity on this bike, it says 400 pounds. Which I was kind of surprised at. Now, I don't know if you'd want to put 400 pounds on here. And by, I don't know, I mean you don't want to put 400 pounds on this guy. Um, we'll go down here. There's a trail that's over to the left up here that I would like to go on. Interesting enough, I brought, I brought my uh, dog back here every night. I have a burger because she's an awesome dog. And we were hiking up here no longer than like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And she kicked up some grass, which is crazy because grass is normally found at a really high elevation. Like in my video up in American Fork, we came across a bunch of grass up on the trails way up high. And uh, that's just something you don't ever see. Now this is something new. So this usually goes around. Um, so it looks like they developed it a little bit more. But that is alright because I know another way to get over to the trail that I want to get on. And they haven't gotten to it quite yet. So this is a very interesting place where I live. This mountain, or these guys over here, is, it's owned by the, the government. It's the army plan. And uh, there's a bunch of like warning signs, do not trespass, like there's a lot of like live artillery around, or so it says. And then right over here, this is a blast zone 
for like a construction company for all the concrete that they, they dig up that they don't need anymore. So they blast it with like dynamite right over here. Just right by where I live. So it's kind of interesting. I'm head up over here, check it out. If I spend more time up here, if I had like a bobcat, you can make some really cool tracks to go right on up over here. And I'm hoping I don't get a flat tire because this is where my brother rode last time uh, when he got a flat tire. So I don't know if he went over like a sticker or what. Okay, cool. They, this is all, all blue over here that they develop, or develop. So I'm going to go check this out. This looks awesome. Maybe I'll bring my dirt bike up here if there's any junk. So I actually haven't been up here in like a week. Maybe not quite a week. It's been probably five days, but they've done a ton. Uh, this is going to be, I don't know how fun this will be to ride in because it's super sandy as you can see. Um, I'm probably going to go up over this part and try to get on the more compact part and then go play out in here and see if I can find any jumps for my dirt bike that I can practice on. Whoa, sh look at that. Wow. I knew it was loose but not like that. There's some like quicksand right there. Oh, that's gonna be fun getting out of my my socks when I get home. Good thing I wore my old uh, my old shoes. Dang man, I have never been in that like uh, loose of sand before in my life. I, I I could tell it was loose, but not like that loose. So now I just don't want to go over like stickers if that's what's gonna give me a flat tire. Changing the tire on this guy surprisingly was hard but not hard. It's hard to explain. It's like it takes kind of a lot of work, but at the end of the day it's like not too bad. It's definitely doable. Let's try right here. Okay, this is a little bit better. Yeah, this is all brand new compact stuff up here. Let's see if I can't see if they if there's any place to jump, because sometimes they build these like mounds that I want to go jump on that's further down I'll take you to in just a minute. This is so much better with the shocks adjusted than what it was. So this should be kind of like a cliff right here. Let's see here. It used to be a cliff. And it looks like they've leveled it out a little bit more. I just live right down there. We're going to go. There's kind of like a track over there. Let's head over there now. But yeah, this thing handles pretty well on off-road, surprisingly. I wasn't thinking it was going to handle this well. But after doing the shocks, like I said, it's a night and day difference, man. So there's a road over here that my dog and I, we walk up when we go on our hikes every night. Or most every night, I should say. Uh, we go on a hike, or we, we do go on hikes pretty much every night, and if it's not here, then we go somewhere else. So this is the road we walk up on. And uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find some jumps for this guy. I don't know if I'm going to jump this, but if we find some jumps, I might take my dirt bike back over to it. Drop in that hair, it doesn't look like I can get in there. Should do like and see how fast I can do a lap on this guy. Oh yeah, I caught some air right there. So I don't know how fast I can get going on this guy without feeling like I'm not going to be in control. So I've never done it. Like this is pretty new to me, man.
That's pretty fun. I don't really see any place for jumps. There was one that was kind of over here. Let's go check it out. Dude, really? So right over here, I was thinking that maybe if I could smooth it down somehow, I could jump this, but it looks pretty steep. Maybe not the greatest angle. Let's go explore a little bit more. But one of the goals I have on this guy is to actually do a, like a long ride, like a backpacking ride on it. Where I either go across the desert or through the mountains for, I don't know, 100 miles to go camping. I think that would be really fun on this other guy. It would be awesome. Surprisingly, like, it handles pretty dang well, man. fast we can get this going. The four speeds, I'm in third right now. We got one more. Well, it's like 40 right there. 45 maybe. I bet I can get up to close to 50. But yeah guys, this is my new toy. You're going to start seeing more videos on it now that I got the wheel of it fixed. I want to do some upgrades on it too. Some little mods. And uh, yeah man, it's a cool little bike. There's something about riding something small that's really fun and entertaining to me. Um, almost even more so than like my full-size dirt bike, but I, I don't know. It makes you feel like a kid again.